We decided to do something special for you guys and revisit some of the most haunted locations from season one with better equipment and better quality. How can we not do this? Some of the evidence that was found season one was so concrete that when Casey even mentioned going back, I was so into it because that was one of my favorite episodes to watch before I was even involved. I think with all the new equipment we have, including the static cameras, the Yes No device, and just our overall better quality cameras, I think the Biltmore was definitely on the top of our revisit list. It just so happened that we were on our way to the Biltmore, and it's like the heavens opened up. Torrential downpour. Classic scary story stuff. Like, what are the odds? Here we are spending the night on the 13th floor of the most haunted hotel in the United States. Not only are we revisiting the Biltmore Hotel in tonight's episode, but there is another location we received word on that still has activity in it to this day. This is going to be a four-part series, so hang tight. Some of the findings we captured at these locations are so out of this world, it would be hard to believe if we didn't capture it all on camera. Stay tuned, I think that you're really going to enjoy this. EVP session number one at the Biltmore. What was that? Did you get it on camera? I'm camera? pretty sure, yeah. I feel horrible in here. We decided we were going to bring more balloons and see if maybe that's a thing. Oh, oh my god, god dude. Did, Did you see that? that door slam up there? What is that? Returning to the Biltmore Hotel was exciting first of all. I know for a fact that there was a high amount of activity last time that I was there, so I was looking forward to see what we would capture the second time around. This place is crazy looking. Seeing the hotel for the first time, I was honestly blown away by the architecture and the art inside. So last time I was here, this yep. thing was swinging. We got that moving. Yep. There was a bang up there on the door. What? Noise. Possibly noise. It's honestly mind-blowing how the obelisk works. It takes different frequencies and different radio waves out of the air and it throws you random words. And what are the chances that when Casey hears the loud bang, it says possibly noise? I just said there's a uh, bang up there on that door. What the f you see? Oh wait, you guys want to see the bullet hole? Yeah. More fatty loss? Yeah, sure. Got a shot? I remember seeing the bullet hole the first time around and it blew my mind that there's still a hole in the door that literally went through a man and killed him in this exact same room. They never changed the door. As he was trying to get out the door, he got shot. And there's still a, there's still a bullet hole That's right crazy. there. So, Thomas Walsh, we're here. We have better tests. So it's a crescent. More ways for you to communicate with us. And uh, we're going to run everything in here tonight for you. Sometimes these tests could be boring and repetitive when we aren't getting the results that we would hope for, but we decided we weren't pulling any stops here. We were going to do every test we had in our arsenal in order to try to get some form of communication. So if you got a message to get out, this is going to be your chance tonight. Hello. Thomas, remember me? Got. So it got. Yeah, and this place is fit for a mob boss, huh? Oh yeah. This is living presidential right here. Yeah. When was this place built? I think like. The, either the early 1900s or the late 1800s. Oh, it says got drunk. Oh, <laughs> yeah? yeah, I'm sure you did. Spot. Dude, this was a mobster hangout. It just says got drunk on the obelisk. It's a spot where they would 
illegally consumed during Prohibition, right? Not haze. Got drunk, not haze. <laughs> no weed. Yeah, no weed. Day. Okay. You gotta give me something better than that. I need to know that you're here. It's a balcony over here too. I peeked out on it already. Yeah, I was out there last time. I don't like heights. Yeah, I know. What was that? There was already weird things happening during the initial walkthrough. I mean, lights turning off and on on their own, strange noises, creaks, pounds, knocks, all these different things that were occurring around us. What happened? Did you see that one flash up there in that room? No. Did a light just flash? Yeah, I have to review it, but I just saw Did you get it on camera? camera? I'm pretty sure, yeah. As I was trying to unlock the balcony door, I heard Colton say, what was that? I don't like heights. Yeah, I know. What was that? What happened? Did you see that one flash up there in that room? No. Did a light just flash? Yeah, I have to review it, but I just saw Did you get it on camera? camera? I'm pretty sure, yeah. That was a trip. I you didn't see it. I thought about. it was this. Got some steep ass stairs. Let me check this out. Master? Want us to go to the master bedroom, maybe? It's a closet. Master. You hear that? Master. You hear that? Yeah, I did. Did you just hear that. that door slam up there? It said master. Wait, can we like proceed with caution for a minute? Hello. This reminds me when I was walking behind you. Let's scratch out. Yeah. Let's not oh. have a. It's kind of weird. There's like an indent right here. Almost like someone hit it or something. Was that it? Maximum. I thought it said gangster. Oh, so yeah, this is the access to that little walk-around thing. Fatty Walsh, where art thou hiding? Are you still in here? It's been a while since I've visited you. What is this? This Where's is the, the room, room? Where it, oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's hot over here. Yeah, it's hot. This is just like an exit. I think there's an emergency stairwell over here. Dude, I wish you could literally see it visually right now. My heart is racing in here. Really? Yeah. I almost want to put the microphone against it. It's like pounding out of control. Oh, here, let me put this on the bed. Yeah. If you're feeling something here. Hey, Fatty. Heard so you knocking the, around up here. What's the significance of this guy, Fatty Walsh? Was he like a... He's a he, bodyguard. He was a oh. bodyguard for like famous mobsters or something. And he was all wrapped up in all that shit got killed for dirty business. This shit is so legit haunted right here. That episode actually made it to the Travel Channel. So this is the real deal here. The first time I came up here, the door was locked, right? Mm -hmm. It says brave. Mm -hmm. first, first time I came up here, this door was locked. This one's totally locked. When it came unlocked, last time I peeked in here, I said hello and the weirdest voice said hello back. Can you talk to us again? Hello, hello. You didn't hear it until reviewing it, right? No. It's no, like, it like a really strong it was, EVP. It was, you know it was not audible. You know what yeah. troubles me the ears. about this room? What? James, his shackles bolted to the concrete. Oh yeah, why the fuck is that there? What is that? Like a sniper window? Oh, it's boarded up. Yeah. Oh, why would that be there? I don't know. Is that like a fucking laundry chute? I don't know. I have no Honestly, idea. Honestly, I think that we should do an EVP session in here in a little while. Okay. Just because we got a really weird one in here, and maybe we'll get another one. Weird smell here too, right? It almost smells like cigars. Yeah, and like, like a musty old cigar. I definitely smell. got the musty. Yeah, musty kind of. Like a wet. Yeah. Wet tobacco. Like. Yeah. I don't know if mobsters were just like all short or these ceilings kind of low. Yeah, they are. Well, you know, old construction, a lot of shit's lower. Hello. Oh, 
wash your head in here, guys. Fatty Walsh, you in here? You like to sit up here because it's dark? Looks like there's a fire in here almost, doesn't it? Mm. What could be that? Like, look at the walls. Weird. Yeah, the way it's broken down. Yeah. Shit up on there. I don't know. Mm. Put down here. Like, maybe. I don't know. It's so interesting to see any type of building material with the word acne on it. Yeah, it's old, so old. old as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't even have access to this part last time I was here. Really? No, because this door was locked. Oh. And that's the door that banged back at me when I tried to open it. Oh. This door, this one? The one right behind you right there. That was locked last time. What is that? I don't know. Looks Check like this a, out, Colt. Looks like a closet. With a glass door? Yeah, that's weird. Dude. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Wait, did you hear that? I absolutely heard that. Hello? Fatty Walsh, is that you? Unlock. Sift. Unlock. Sift. Sift. Dude, I just said that door was locked last time. Yeah. I can't. It says unlock. We definitely have to do something over here. Fatty, did you just unlock this door for us? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you just, uh, you're like a prisoner right there. I feel horrible in here. Maybe we could run something in yeah, there. Yeah, this like is... a isolation solo yeah. test later. That's a cool room. Well, and especially because you didn't have access last time. Yeah. Um, it might be worth fucking with. And then we hear that random too, noise right? over here. The fact that it says unlock. Unlock. I was like, oh yeah, this was locked last time. I swear to God, I just saw that chair rotate. Which one? That one the right big there. One? In the first shot, I felt like it was, at, it was facing me at an angle, and now it's like facing straight forward. That's like the boss chair, too. We'll have to take a look. Oh, right. we got to bring those balloons in, too. The first time Casey visited the Biltmore, one of the balloons popped behind him. He initially brought the balloons to provoke Thomas Walsh. We figured, worked the first time, why not do it again? Yeah. So, uh, for those of you watching right now, when I was here during a Ouija board session, one of our battery lights drained and a balloon popped right behind me as I was on the Ouija board. We decided we were going to bring more balloons and see if maybe that's a thing. Maybe we can antagonize them a little bit. Maybe maybe you can do it again. Yeah. So we'll set up balloons all around the downstairs and then we'll start doing some more testing. First time Casey visited the Biltmore, he got some really clear, really interesting EVPs. So we decided to do some audio recordings to see if we could get anything similar. Can you give us a sign that you're here now? All right, EVP session number one at the Biltmore. Fatty Walsh, you spoke to me last time I was here through the EVPs. It's not through the EVPs. Um, I would say just you communicate with me. Yeah. Or we got an EVP from our video last time here. All right. Fatty Walsh, last time I was here, we got an EVP during our walkthrough. Can you say something now? Patty Walsh, can you make some noise like you were earlier when we were down downstairs? That was a noise right above us. Can you speak into this device? Give us something that we could play back?
Did you die here? Is there somebody here besides Fatty Walsh that wants to communicate? Let's play it back. Fatty Walsh, you spoke to me last time I was here through the EVPs. It's not through the EVPs. Um, I would say just you communicate with me. Yeah. Or we got an EVP from our video last time here. Right. Fatty Walsh, last time I was here, we got an EVP during our walkthrough. Can you say something now? Patty mm -hmm. Walsh, can you make some noise like you were earlier when we were down downstairs? That was loud. That fucking that yeah, that right click place. above us. What is it? Can you speak into this device? Give us something that we could play back. Did you die here? Is there somebody here besides Fatty Walsh that wants to communicate? What hey, the fuck? fuck? Yes, now. Uh huh. Let's play it back. What? Dude, you were literally right fucking above me on this fucking light. Where's the AC in this room? Dude. It's fucking crazy here. What the fuck was that? I have like the jitters, like I'm like shaking. It echoed in this reason. room. God damn, look at that lightning, Dude. bro. The lightning and thunder was getting out of hand. Every couple of minutes just crashes outside. We were on the 13th floor. It was extremely loud up there. Whoa. We're on the 13th floor too. We're like up in the fucking goddamn yeah, clouds. As it goes. All right. Uh, the fucking hallway over there is just weird feeling. Too. We're also That's standing next to fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely have a little deja vu right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, let's do one more EVP session in there. Okay. And then let's go in that room where I got that weird hello last time. All right. Let's go. EVP session number two, Biltmore Hotel. If you're the one banging things above us and around us, can you please do it again? Did you just make that beep noise downstairs? If so, can you make it again? Why does this room make me feel heavy? It's giving me anxiety for some reason. That doesn't make it feel any better. Dude, the storm just goes crazy as soon as we start doing this test. Colt, you want to ask a few? I know you got one in last time. Fatty Walsh, we've seen you move objects. We've heard you make noises in here. Is there any way you can draw enough energy to communicate with the device on the bed? We know this was your room. You like to stay in. Is there any type of 
communication or message you can send us right now. Okay, so. Fatty Walsh, would it upset you if we do a Ouija board session downstairs? Ask that one more time. If you would like us to do a Ouija board session downstairs, can you please make a sound? I mean, I, that, that's not him making the sound, yeah, but that was no, definitely that a fucking sound. It's insane, that's man. putting enough energy in the atmosphere to let him make one. Let's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do the next room. Later. You want to see what we got? Yeah. This is a long one, so let's just play it back real quick. If you're the one banging things above us and around us, can you please do it again? Why does this room make me feel heavy? It's giving me anxiety for some reason. Dude, that shit is so loud. That doesn't make it feel any better. Dude, the storm just goes crazy as soon as we start doing this test. You know what this is actually good for? Hmm. There's people that say like, oh, you edit thunder oh, and all yeah. that shit. No need. How do you edit yeah. a fucking voice recorder? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fatty Walsh, we've seen you move objects. We've heard you make noises in here. Is there any way you can draw enough energy to communicate with the device on the bed? We know this was your room. You like to stay in. Is there any type of communication? Oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm fucking oh. getting real, real Fuck. fucking curious now. Some of the noises coming from this place were so loud that it was legitimately startling. Is there any type of communication? Oh my god, dude. I'm fucking oh. getting real, real Fuck. fucking curious now. When you were asking me if there's any way you could make a noise, Fatty Walsh is playing back. And it what did it say? Oh my god, dude! I was like zoning in on that thing. That fucking scared me. We'll listen to those more closely yeah, later. I can enhance it. Yeah. Once we get back from the trip. EVP session number three. Hello. Hello. Fatty Walsh. This is where you talked to me last time. Can you say something? Hello? Say hello just like you did last time. I demand you to say hello. Huh? Were you making noises in the other room? Where you like to hide? Are you a scary mobster? Are you afraid of everybody? You gotta give us more than that. A little clicks and ticks around the building. We need something more. Talk. Say something. Play this one back. 
Yeah, I guess we can just all stand up so we can get it closer to our ears. Yeah. Nicole, cool. you can just, I guess, see if you're audio. Actually, let's go out of yeah. this room because yeah. it's noisy here. When doing an EVP session in the room upstairs, we heard some strange noises, kind of sound like whispers. We just couldn't hear it clearly enough on location to determine what exactly it was. That was it right there. That was, none of us were talking. Here, go back, yeah. What is that? You can't, it's not clear. I'm gonna have to enhance yeah. it. After getting back home, I transferred the audio sessions from the Biltmore Hotel onto my computer, and I did no adding effects or anything. I simply enhanced the volume. I listened with headphones, and you could see right here, all I did was cut the clip. This is the full original audio recording from the hotel. <laughs> EVP session number three. Hello? Hello? Fatty Walsh? This is where you talked to me last time. Can you say something? recording that nobody in the room with us was whispering but when we play it back you can hear a whisper of something that sounds like I'm still here is it all right if we use a Ouija board here tonight Two. It was one of the craziest spirit box sessions I think I've ever encountered. Well, this is the first fucking investigation went What did I say, Dan? Anything but Ouija. This shit's nuts. Okay, lights, cameras, action, bitch, let's roll. Skulls on the banners. I'm the one producing these shows. Got my dogs. I'm with Tanner, and we hunting down these goals on the road. I phantoms, spirit box with live bones. Yeah, most of it gets cold. Yeah, see my breath is like snow. Yeah, EMF it might go. Yeah, beach board is so dope. Yeah, cameraman, we got cold. Yeah, static camera got those. Yeah, talking to the dead souls. Yeah, see a demon get froze. Yeah, uh, they took too long for this new shit. Season three, it goes stupid. We love the fans, but the truth is, we on the road to produce shit, and it takes time to make movements. So those that hate could enjoy the wait, but when we drop the tape, they gon' tune in. I'm done with